This episode of Holy Sh** is gonna be a little unusual because I don't have anything. Nope, we had a special guest. This is Michael Sun, and he has brought with him the HMC Galahad, a 3D printed uh, the kinetic sculpture robot, whatever you wanna call it, that if you factor in his labor at even a mere 20 bucks an hour is worth over 7,000 US dollars. TunnelBear is the easy to use VPN service that lets you use the web as though you are in one of 20 different countries. Learn more and try TunnelBear for free at the link in the video description. Let's start with a breakdown of that cost. Because to print something to this degree of quality and at this size would require a 3D printer costing about a quarter million dollars, about $3,000 of that cost of the machine went to Shapeways. There's about another $200 in the cost of the electronics that run the whole thing, including the 18 freaking servos, not to mention the vibration motors and all of that stuff. And then by my rough napkin math, about $4,000 of it is in the detailing, which we'll get into in a little bit more detail later. In terms of other key specs, the HMC Galahad has six legs, six genuinely moving legs, by the way, including access hatches, doors and windows, all of which open. It's got 24 guns along the bottom half of its egg-like structure, most of which are anti-personnel type weapons. Then it has an additional nine guns in the top half, including two very, very large cannons. It has searchlights in the top that actually move and are also capable of being shuttered just in case, you know, you don't want them to get shot out by an attacker or whatever the case may be. And it includes even amazingly cool little details like, check this out, there's a service staircase or uh, an access staircase for someone to get up into the top rotating turret which I guess leads us pretty well into a tour of some of the other immaculate details that went into the creation of this. I'm afraid to call it a product because Mr. Singh has only created two of them so far. The main gun here, which actually fires by the way, is rifled on the inside of the barrel. If you come around to the back, you can see we've actually got some soldiers that are, that are, that are manning the, uh, the HMS Galahad here. When the engine smoke goes, there's actually some lighting back here. It's got a 7.4 volt, 3,700 milliamp hour battery that is enough to run it for a while, but it doesn't deliver enough current to run everything concurrently. So all the switches back here allow you to run certain things, but not others, because this is more of a demo than anything else. Moving around over to this side, check this out. Just these little things are so cute. These are acupuncture needles right here that are acting as uh, little antennae here. And of course, I've been glossing over the fantastic weathered, war-worn, rusted paint job that's going on here that accounted for something to the tune of 180 to 200 hours of the construction time. The actual assembly only took a couple of days. Function number one, we're gonna put the Galahad into what I'm gonna call sentry mode. There we go. And what you're gonna see is the top turret is going to start to slowly rotate looking for a target. When it sees a target, look at that, it fires. Next up, we've got most of the rest of the guns. So most of the ones along the bottom are on vibration motors. So they look like they got that firing action, but some of them actually have a, a, a similar firing in bank sort of mechanism going on. The Gatlings on the left rotate realistically and the right arm gun, this one's cool. This one actually has a recoil action that includes the legs moving as well. Demo number three, yes, my friends, it walks. Although I don't know if uh, walk is as appropriate a term as lumber would be. Look at the way, look at the way it moves. The whole thing shifts around. Very cool. Which leads us to the big finish, which as you guys always know, involves the uh, biggest gun and the largest load. This, well, it's a ping pong ball, but it looks like a cannonball right here. And fire! Ah, there it goes.
those. <laughs> okay, the angles need to be tweaked a little bit. We get that. But uh, there you have it, folks. This is the HMS Galahad. By far the coolest and most expensive robot toy kinetic sculpture that I have ever seen. Speaking of which, Mass Drop. If you haven't heard of Mass Drop, well, I'm sorry that you live in a hole because Mass Drop is pretty freaking cool. All you gotta do is head over to massdrop.com, sign up, and they've got all kinds of great deals, whether it's on audio products or like, you know, cool knives or keyboards or computer parts or whatever. I mean, they've got, they've got like a bunch of camping stuff now, like ultralight stuff. Um, Super cool. And basically the way that it works is they rely heavily on their community to find them the products that they really want to buy and that they're interested in. And then MassDrop works directly with the manufacturers or authorized distributors to get genuine products at a discounted price. So the more people commit to buy, the lower the drop price goes and the better the deal is for everyone. Today's featured product is the Bayer Dynamic DT880 Premium Headphones. They feature a semi-open backed design, dynamic transducers, circumaural sound coupling, a spring steel frame with padded headband, soft ear pads, and most importantly, they sound really good. I do have a pair of these myself, and they're available now on Mass Drop for $229 at their lowest drop with an MSRP of $400. So all you gotta do is check it out at the link in the video description and get signed up for Mass Drop today. So thanks for watching guys. If you disliked this video, hit that dislike button. If you liked it though, hit like, get subscribed, maybe even consider supporting us. You can buy a cool shirt like this one. You can change your Amazon bookmarks one with our affiliate code, instructions for which are up here. Or you can even just join our community forum, start answering people's questions, get your own questions answered, take part in the discussion, it's great. Now that you're done watching this video, you're probably wondering, gee, what should I watch next? Well, check out that video right there. I've completely given up on saying which video I'm teasing. I'm leaving it up to the editors. Yep, I give up.